All right, let's switch over to the S&P 500 futures. Okay, <clears throat> continuing with the price action now for the S&P 500 futures contract. As of Friday's close, a white body occurred because prices closed higher than they opened. During the past 10 bars, there have been five white up candles and four black down candles for a net of one white up candle. During the past 50 bars, there have been 23 white up candles and 26 black down candles for a net of three black down candles. A bullish hammerama occurred where the current small white body is contained within an unusual large black body. Now, during a downtrend, which appears to be the case with the E-mini S&P 500 futures, this pattern implies an end to the decline as the bears appear to have exhausted themselves. During an uptrend, the bullish uh, Harumai pattern is bearish as the bears appear to be gaining strength as the bulls weaken. We should also note that a spinning top occurred and a spinning top is a candle with a small real body as you can see this small real body right here. Um, spinning tops identify a session in which there is little price action as defined by the difference between the open and the close and during a rally or near new highs a spinning top can be a sign that prices are losing momentum and the bulls may be in trouble. Taking our focus now to the swing index, our current pulse scan reading is 8.10 and the swing VIX reading is 13.35. So just with that alone, you can see that the pulse scan is crossed below uh, the swing VIX. Uh, the market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line. Uh, eight is definitely greater than zero. Zero is the signal line for the pulse scan, so we're at a positive eight right now. However, the pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX three periods ago, as you can see here. From this black candle, we crossed down. Okay, so we have a this is a down channel. Okay, that's what that means. Uh, so the trend channel is down. Uh, this means that negative momentum has entered the market. You can see that. So we expect sideways to lower prices within the next three to five days of a cross. And we crossed here, and this is four bars completed now into this down channel. So Monday could complete this cycle uh, if we're going to consolidate and begin to trend higher. Um, the last signal was an overbought sell three periods ago, which I just showed you with the, with the black candle, which is here. This is on June the 21st. And... <clears throat> This, since the swing VIX crossed its moving average, the E-mini S&P 500 futures contracts price has decreased a whopping 3.33% and has ranged from a high of 11.18.5 to a low of 10.67.89. Uh, as far as the market trend is concerned, currently the trend is bearish and within a retracement. The trend momentum reading is very bearish because we're trading below the long-term intermediate and short-term moving averages. As far as volatility, uh, we closed above the lower volatility band by 34.7%. Therefore, we have no, um, no buy or sell tickets triggered on that, but let's take a look at the price projections. All right, Monday's price projections. Intraday is resistance at 1080.03 and support at 1071.41. Now, our weekly price projections are as follows. We have resistance at 1131.23 and support at 1042.17. How we would play this is we look to get short at 1042.17. Now, as I've uh, indicated to you in earlier videos, when I give you the analysis on the um, on the futures, the the mini Dow, S and P, and Nasdaq, we do use the cash prices. Okay, so that's why they're being quoted to the penny like this. But when you're trading the futures contract, you have to remember that it, it goes in quarter increments on the e mini S and P, and half increments on the Nasdaq, and you can actually do dollar increments on the uh, mini Dow. So in this case. Um, a printout reading of 1042.17 on the system would translate to a short order at 1042 and a quarter, or you could round it down to 1042 even. 
that's why I would, that's where I would put my um, my sell my sell short uh, trigger. I would put my stop limit there to get short, and then I would use the the um, the eleven thirty one twenty three as my initial stop. Now you guys got to keep in mind that one E mini S and P five hundred futures contract is the equivalent of five thousand shares of stop. Okay, so even though these um, stop losses can be wide, uh, like in excess of 100 points, that would translate to $5,000 stop loss per contract. Okay, to the novice, that would be considered insane. They would say, "Oh, your 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 um your 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 your, your, your win loss ratio, your risk to reward ratio is off. Uh, that's too big." Blah blah blah. It's not about that. As I will demonstrate, the, 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 this is this is the, the the most powerful trading system you will find for free on the internet. Okay, um, we know what we're doing here. We've been doing this for many, 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 many years. So when I give you these entry points and stop losses and profit targets, you can you can bet them. You can you can take it to the bank. All right. So that's how that works. All right. So that's all we have on the S and P 500. And the um, ticker symbol on this one, for those that, know, that don't know, it's ES, Eddie Sam, is the ticker symbol for the E-mini S&P 500 futures contract. And you always want to trade front month, and it's four months to represent the quarters of the year. Um, so right now, this is uh, June, so you'd be getting ready to, to trade the, um, the September contract, okay? So be encouraged. And stay tuned for the next video.